Oh, guys, it's a bit of a madness right now. Uh, Bria Anderson obviously has come out and apologized. Well, sorry, I say apologize. So that she's working on her marriage, okay? Working on her marriage. And I want to say this. Look, there are many reasons why people stay in marriages and want to make it work. We're going to read her statement and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about some of those reasons. So the moment of authenticity. I know we're all on social media. But there's a distinction between the internet and real life. In real life, I am a mother and a wife that cares about my family above anything else. I'm reading it according to how she wrote it, so don't get vexed on me. My truth is that my husband and I are working on our marriage, and I'm interested in. The, I'm not interested in the internet games. I ask for everyone to respect my family privacy. Okay. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. All right, cool. So let's get into this conversation real quick. Um, I think that, that statement in itself is quite interesting. And if we were to focus on some of the stuff that she actually made, what I call a uh, capsule lock, um, you know, she put real life, real capsule lock, wife capsule lock, family capsule lock, because um, she wanted us, she wanted to highlight those other things. In real life, she's going to make decisions that are based on her being a wife and for her family. And I think that's very important. I think that gives an idea in terms of what her mindset is. Let's look again. So caps locks on a real wife and family. Notice she didn't put a caps lock on the mother part because the real wife and family are the reason why she's actually staying or whether she's deciding to prolong her, her stay in this relationship. Real life, um, things happen. As a wife, she knows things can happen. Mistakes can be made. And the family is also important. Trying to hold the family together and keep that family image um, of uh, oftentimes together as a reason as to why they stay. And I, I, whilst I commend that and I love that and I appreciate that and I think that's great, sometimes we offer loyalty to people that don't deserve our loyalty. <clears throat> sometimes we offer loyalty to people who are beneath our, uh, our, 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 our reasons, I say beneath, but are below the expected standard for loyalty. What I mean by this, I'm looking at a situation and I'm going, why is it that she put out a statement saying we're working on our marriage? Now, unless this is a, unless this is a power move to, you know, quell the, the, the public reports and then get the, and then obviously maybe do a divorce a little bit later on and take him to the cleaners, he should be coming out to say that he has messed up and he's covering his wife and making sure that, you know what, they're not going to be, that, you know, no more further embarrassment comes to them and that everything should go through him. But he ain't done that. He ain't done that. Now, of course, maybe his uh, objective is I don't come out and talk in the blogs. But the fact is your wife has been embarrassed in the blogs. She's been embarrassed on Shade Room. She's been embarrassed in the global scene. Who knows about this couple? And globally, everyone now knows that you've done what you've done. So the reason why someone like Bria would stay is because she's so family orientated, not probably, maybe she's come from a divorce home, maybe she's come from a home that was separated, maybe she saw uh, um, some, you know, a, a marriage that wasn't great and wants to try and do better and, and maybe she's overcompensating in her own particular marriage. Or, or better yet, she's probably thinking about the fact that she grew up with two parents and did, in the same household and she doesn't want her legacy to be of her children growing up without both parents in the household. And this is a sacrifice that some mothers and some wives make in order um, to make sure that their children aren't too highly effective. They put themselves last and put their kids first. They serve their children in that aspect. What I would also say is, though, the impact of doing that, of putting yourself second and putting your feelings and putting your emotions and putting your heart aside is how quickly cold you can become. And actually, you may not be at your full capacity to serve emotionally and mentally for your children in future. And so what will happen is actually, while you may be trying to stop the train and the gravy train of, um, you know, there being a separation, you actually can end up emotionally detaching from your kids because you're not going to be able to be present because of all the 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 pain that you're feeling from your marriage emotionally and mentally i think also that we have to be i want to be fair and say listen she probably figure out her emotions right now we don't make permanent decisions on temporary feelings now of course everyone can scream and shout from the hills and the hilltop and say hey look you don't need to be with this man get rid of him da -da 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 -da. she could do that I mean, she could really get rid of him just like that. But the reality is, don't make t permanent decisions on temporary feelings. We need to figure out how we feel and what we're going through first. 
before we move and before we do anything, whether that's divorce, whether that's stay, whatever it is. Of course, now she's chosen to stay and work on a marriage, but we do need to figure out our emotions and how we feel and what's going through our heart. And I keep saying this as well. A lot of times, the reason why these relationships end up failing after the cheating, is not just the cheating. It's the fact that a man will, will cheat and not realize that there's a time of recovery that's needed. There's a time of healing that's recovered. There's time of effort that needs to be put in to make sure that she regains your trust. We need to actually invest in healing the body once more again and that's that takes time it's not a straightforward situation okay um you know i think also another aspect is you don't want to throw away these these good years apparently good years or history that you guys have it's a sunken cost and the sunken cost you've put into it is capital and your capital of your time and your energy that you've put into this uh, uh and your love into this relationship and this marriage you don't want to just give it up just yet you don't want to just quit it. You don't want to just you don't you don't want to give up prematurely. You don't want to, you don't want to, you, you're scared that your 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 investment. I put all of that into that thing. I can't just let it go now. I got to see it all the way through. And sometimes I can keep people in a relationship that they don't need to be in. All right. And I think another aspect that comes into play as to why Bree might even be staying in this relationship is that you don't want to lose to the other woman. Look, the other woman is doing the most. The side chick corn on the cob, baked beans. Okay, is doing the most over there. Okay, all right. She's doing the most on the internet streets. The fact that she's coming out and posting these uh, uh, pictures of her and her man and look saying about trying to show that she's not the side chick. Look at this one. Look at this post here. She's showing a picture of her and I probably shouldn't show the chest there a little bit anyway. But, um, you know, split my entire pregnancy together. You know, the baby's lying on his chest and everything like that. Um, you know, I ain't missed the moment before the season started. Killed the image, Bria. Why is a side chick fighting Bria? She should be fighting the main husband. This is what I'm trying to say. Like your 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 anger's misplaced, and you've lost sight of who the actual villain is. It's not Bria. The villain is the man, the husband. Guess what? He hasn't done said anything. So he either has lied to you both in your own individual quarters, but you don't need to fight over him. So Bria, Bria. I'm not Bria, but the side chick, uh, Dijal, is like, you're doing too much. Sis, I know you have a kid by him. I know you have a child by him, but you're doing too much, sis. Okay? He was with a whole wife before he met you. So what made you think he's going to leave? Most men don't even leave their wives for their, for their fair partner. They stay. They come back. Okay? So while you're out here thinking that you're going to get the man, I want you to understand how you got him is how you're going to lose him, side chick. Right, and you are a side chick. I, I hate to say it. No, he you may be a side chick who he loved, but she was a side chick. Okay, he loves himself more. That's the reality. Okay, and the final reason is, like I said, she may be delaying this whole process and getting back with him, but delaying it because she's planning her exit. And sir, if that is the case, I'd be scared. When a woman starts planning her exit, it can be devastating. When they start doing law abiding citizen stuff. Y'all know how that film ended. I appreciate you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell button for notification uploads. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section.